Hi, so I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly what you're supposed to do after, uh, in order to see the right thing for the titration lab. Okay, so when you get to the part here about um, step eight, part A, um, about the Wolfram player, first you can download this. That's pretty straightforward, but um, once that's installed, it, you have to download it and then install it. After that's completely ready, um, you can click this link and it's going to pop up with this website. Okay, you can use this app in the website, but my experience is not great with it. It doesn't work that well. Um, so the best thing to do is click download to desktop. You don't need to download it again, so you can ignore the pop up that happens. And then if you've installed Wolfram, when you click this, it will automatically open a program. This is the Wolfram program. Okay, and so the simulation that is easiest to use is actually outside of uh, the internet. It's in their Wolfram player. So it opens it up right here like this. You'll see the black bar and then it's got some information like this. This is the right thing. Mm, okay. Actually, this is the right thing right here. So this is where you can mess around with things. This is your second simulation, okay? Um, once you've downloaded all of them, you can access them by going to file, okay? This is your first simulation. And so um, you wanna be using the program, not the website. So once you can see the, the graph, this is where you wanna start messing with volumes of things and concentrations and stuff like this, okay?